It's the Rap and Scrap Show. Of course, I'm your main Apple Scrap, along with uh, my guest tonight, Manoka Smith. She's in the building. Hello, everybody. She got a lot going on, but she's going to have I had to help me out with some other, other stuff before. Yeah, we're already on fire. And of course, uh, that was my other guest. Uh, she's not here yet, but she will be coming in soon. Honey Stacks with her remix. I like that. You like that? I like that. That was kind of hot. That was hot. Yeah, it was hot. You so she'll be coming in. No, yeah, I, th I actually thought it was uh, the other girl with the bad teeth from Love and Hip Hop. What girl? <laughs> I forgot her name. That's the girl with the, the, girl yeah. with the only person that had the bad teeth I thought was Cardi. Cardi B, yeah. Yes. Well, she got her teeth fixed, so uh, <laughs> you know how the song goes. But yeah, we're here. And uh, Radio on Fire is the Rap and Scrap Show. But you gotta help me with some things that were uh, discussed heavily because I was getting rolled on Facebook today. About what? All right, this is the situation. All right. Uh, today's topic of a discussion. As a woman, would you uh, look at yourself any kind of way or look down on a woman that proposed to a man? No. You would? No, I mean, you in a different so time. So, would you do it? Why not? You in a different time. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, a lot of people felt very differently about that, so that will be a topic of discussion today. Well, I think people feel that way because they're basically stuck in that whole, you know, old school, right, traditional. Right, right. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, way, yeah. You know, we were. But times up. have changed now. And plus, right. You know, have, you know, today's times, females want to look at it like it's fifty-fifty. So why not get down to one end? I mean, women are doing everything else out here, so why she can't propose? Yeah, dang. <laughs> That's the secret. I mean, we bossing up. Oh, y'all doing a lot. Of, so okay, so we're talking about that too. Yeah. Um, of course, uh, we also want to talk about the movement of uh, taking them one knee, a uh, stand for uh, what's right, right now, what's going on in the NFL, because uh, it's getting more thick. Of course, the idiotic. Uh, I would. I don't even like calling him my president, but uh, the the president of uh, White America. Uh, Put his foot in his mouth again. Did you see his speech yesterday about uh, the incident in Las Vegas? Um, I seen his speech. Did he write one word? Uh, no, you saw how he yes. was reading it. He like, was reading yeah, it. like, like, literally yes. every every word. Not one word was not one word was sincere. Not one word was written. By no, no. Like, what, what, what would he just get the hell off? I wasn't really impressed. And with everything that's going on in Puerto Rico, it just seemed like his priorities are not in order. Not and when he's focusing on NFL players nailing down, he should be focused on trying to help the people in Puerto well, Rico. Well, following on Twitter goes up daily. Like, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't know. I, I don't want to follow him. But. Yeah, I don't really think he does a very good job as a president. I just seem seems as though he's just focused on the know. wrong things. Right, and, right. And, in a, and a lot of people in America, you know, they're losing. Right, exactly. And um, right. as far as the whole thing about NFL players, Mm -hmm. Kneeling on their knees. We've been doing that for centuries. Right, right. Well, okay. All right, so, you know, there's a topic of discussion that we will be delving in uh, to today, especially when Honey Stacks uh, joins us. It'd be two women against one, though, so I might not bring up that uh, proposal thing for No, bring, but, it up, but, bring it up. Well, let's dive into uh, Manoka Smith. Uh, talk about it. Uh, what you got uh, going on? Uh, let the world know what's, what's going on with your rap and scrap. Well, my name is Minoka Smith. I'm an activist for young black men mm -hmm. all across the nation. I like how you said it. Say activist again. Activist. Yeah, we need more activists. Yes, I'm yeah, an activist. Need. I strongly believe in young black men. I feel like a lot of our young black men are losing. Uh -huh. So my goal is to present a message to them. Right. And my message, I've already written it up. Uh, I just want to enhance their minds and wake them up. Mm -hmm. A lot of our young men are suffering with, you know, not having their fathers uh, in the home. Right. A lot right. of them are being raised by mothers, grandmothers in the streets, of course. Right, right. Um, right. A lot of our young men feel like that they don't have anything to stand on. They don't feel as though they have a dream. And not only that, they took so much out of the uh, communities. Yes, yes. Because we had a recreation center that right. we could actually uh, depend on after school. Exactly. Um, you, you, you almost because uh, of course we you know being a mentor and dealing with kids uh, right now too is I mean it's limited locations like the Y the YMCA that's about the only thing I can read but you had a uh, recreation center on like every corner at one and they had Pat remember Pat uh, it was in Baltimore City. Oh no! It was packed all over the city, where you know young people had somewhere to play their games, do their homework. They were mentoring programs, and they took all of that out. It was yeah, nowadays they, they 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 on every intersection talking about can I wash your windows? Well, the thing is that, that I feel one, is that when people see young black men grouped up as, as together, they automatically you know feel like that they are up to something or right. you know they're in danger to the community. Mm -hmm. It's not so much of that they don't have anywhere to no, go. Nothing to do, right? So they they. A, uh, comfortable amongst one another mm -hmm. to help one another feel comfortable 
more of our young people, like I said, they need somewhere to go. They need something to do. Yeah, and yeah. I think that, you know, society should stop looking at a group of young black men and you automatically think if they have a hoodie on, if their pants are sagging, oh, he's a bad guy. Right. That's not true. So, like, all right, now what's your book? Um, with the book, of course, um, it, it definitely is, uh, from what I actually uh, went over what you thus far, it's definitely much needed in the communities today. But where, where, where do you think we should strike at first? Like, where is the main target? Like, what would you, if you had the, if you had the ability to start this book, well, of course, you, you're showing your abilities right now with what you're doing thus far. But where would you strike at first? Like, where the, where the core of the problem may, may lie? Uh, their education and believing in themselves. Oh, okay. Definitely education and right. believing in themselves. Mm -hmm. They're lacking in their education and they're lacking in believing themselves. Right. And that's where I would tackle it. Right. And then we got to get the skinny jeans up off of them. Because I think it's blocking off their like, brain. They, they can't think straight. They're like cutting off the circulation to their brain. You think so? The skinny jeans? No, I think it's just a trend. <laughs> That's an unwanted trend. I think it's just a trend. I think it's just a trend. I mean, you know, a lot of young men that wear those skinny jeans, uh, you know. Uh, this is European look. Then, it, so. Yeah, I like European look. I actually like the skinny look, especially when they wear the suits. Oh. Oh, yeah, I think that's sharp. So you like skinny suits? I like the skinny look. Oh, no, man. I like the European look. I don't like the whole traditional. Right. No. Nah. No. Nah. You gotta move with the A time. skinny suit? I like a skinny suit. Ah, double breast. It's fashionable. It's okay. fashionable. All right, that's yeah. for another show, though. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, definitely, I do agree with you. Education would be the main, um, the main, you know, focus yeah. first and foremost. But it's it, it's kind of hard to get them to go to school nowadays when you have the school system actually trying to get them put out. Like right now, sixteen, they're giving you the uh, uh, ability to drop out if you're so told. Well, I don't think that's good. Uh, I think all. that with that. They just want to do away with them. Right. You know, you just want to push them aside. Well, it, it actually, and on top of that, actually, it hurts like good teachers. They're not, they're not too like involved with their uh, parenting as well as teaching. Because I mean, my, my first grade teacher was almost like my parent back then. Um, and those are the type of teachers. But when you have. putting up stuff on, on World Star and teachers getting World Star and not that, like I mean. Why, why, how could you put your full effort into education? If well, you know what I think is also would be good out. as well is, um, you know, at one point in time, you would have mentors and teachers come to the home. Right, right. And they would help the parents help the child. Mm, you know, true. so when the child didn't cooperate with the parent, you knew Mr. John or Ms. Walker was coming. Right, right. You know, and you had a total different perspective. And you you ever gotta, get an ass whipping from a neighbor? No. Oh, okay. No. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I got a couple neighbors ass whipping boy. Jesus. Mm -mm. I just got more than neighbors. I asked my too. parents to move the next day. Like, let's get the. Now, I had the neighbors that would watch you when you were outside mm -hmm. and when the lights was about to go off. And oh, that mother, light I mean, If your mother didn't come out, yeah. they were telling you it's time for you to go in the house. Right. Yeah. Now that's almost prehistoric these days. The yeah. light, the, uh, the the street light curfew. Well, you know, if you if you tell a child now to come up off the street, they get offensive. Right. You know, they, they don't want you to tell them what to do to cuss you out. They might cuss. They don't understand the beauty in it right. all. They don't understand, you know, people really caring and appreciating right, right, them right. and wanting to see what's best for them. Mm -hmm. Now, on another thing that um, Manuka, that you um, you harped on, that of course um, that's going to reside in your book, is about fathers not being around. I am a stickler about fathers. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's more to being a father than just providing material possessions. Right. Uh, it's more than being a father and you're not there. It's more than being a father just reprimanding a child when they do wrong, but you're not putting in the quality time with them. I don't feel like a young man can respect his father where you're reprimanding him on one end, but you're not giving him any time. If you gave him time and you reprimand him, it would probably work better. He would appreciate and understand it. So I think a lot of fathers put their priorities in the wrong order and, yeah, the, and they don't they don't take the Tulsa. time that they should right you know uh our boys are starving for attention our boys need to 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 be heard they have a voice right you know and it is, it is, it is uh, well not crazy of course uh it's funny that you said that because uh, me being uh, a mentor I, I noticed that a lot of the kids that i've actually um took from 
I guess the negative role mm -hmm. to a positive uh, lightning. That's the only thing that was met, missing is a male figure, yes. a positive uh, male role model. And a lot of them was uh, actually missing that fatherhood that they were looking for. So, yes. and, and, and I'm, I'm happy to say now, uh, most of the kids that I'm actually working with, uh, they're doing a great job. That's right all now. they needed. Yeah. That, they just that, want to feel loved and feel safe. Because I had my dad around, so that was, that was actually great. So, I just want, I chose to be hard here. Right. So, that's the, that's the different life. And as women, we can't do it all. We are emotional beings, you know, yeah. uh, and we're very different from a man's perspective. Yeah. And yeah, like, well, a woman can't. Reason, right? No, and you have to understand their attitudes. Yeah. A lot of times, boys' attitudes are not really geared to you. Right. That's just the monkey of a young man. All right. Well, we're going to take a little break here, um, and then when we return, yes. we'll get back into a uh, more activist. Yo, we back at the Rapid Scrap Show here on RadioOnFive.com. As you see, uh, someone else has joined the panel, and there's no other than Honey Stacks. Yes, girl. Yes. Honey and that was, your, that was just another uh, one of your bangers. Yeah. I see you saying, hey, turn up. I'm always turned up when I'm listening to my music. All the way turned up. All the way. So I got two uh, money makers, move makers, and move shakers. Uh, <laughs> No, they don't strip. No, we don't do that. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm um, Smith, she's yeah. still here with us. Um, now, um, when we uh, left off, we were talking about the, uh, your book and um, the direction in which you wanted to go. So, first of all, what made you like, like, you know, it's, it's much needed. I need to open my voice up and hit them through the pen. Well, my book is about my life. Okay. The book is called Family Circle of Generational Curses. Okay. So, I'm basically talking about my life. And I'm going to explain the curse so people can look at things in their life. And I want to be able to deliver. Okay. Now, as far as the youth is concerned, what I have wrote now is basically something I've been doing all my life. I've always worked with the youth. I've always had a strong connection with them, not knowing that was my calling. Mm -hmm. And what I found was a lot of young men would come back and talk to me. If they did good things, they would come back and let me know. And then when I got into law enforcement, it became even more... Uh, open to me that this is what I need to do to the point where a lot of my young people they wouldn't act right in court unless I was there. I was able to um, calm them down when they would get out of order. She even after life sentence, like there ain't no calming me down. You give me life. It's on. I I I was blessed. Right. I probably, and it's actually you know it, it, it's not by coincidence like how we were just speaking about. And um, of course now with Holly Stacks here also uh, my one of my co actors in the upcoming stage play The Wild. Who's that? That's Miss Bang Bang. Bang Bang, um, but, uh, Bang, Bang like, they was talking about the directors were just talking about uh, uh, the other day when we had our first meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, is that the, we're, we're continuing this play just to help with, you know, the, the getting the kids together. I'll right. preach it up, up right now. So, right. I, I, right. excuse my French, but it definitely is. Right. And, um, now, like I said, with your, your movement that just started and try to help out as well. Like we're all trying to help. Like do y'all see that do y'all see it making a difference? Like we can change this one child. That's what I was gonna it. say. Mm -hmm. If I'm able to change one child, that's a plus for me. I know I probably have five more children I can change. But the thing is you, you can't go and think you're gonna change everybody. Right, right. So long as you're able to get over to some, you're already moving. You know, right. the blessings are already happening. Yeah, you know, so um, that's the way I look at it. I try to have something positive to say to all young people. Right. Uh, I don't, and I don't judge. Right. And when I come across young people who don't do right, I try to talk to them so they can change that wrong into right. Mm -hmm. So it's just all about your approach. And that's what your book is based about. Well, my book is more about like my life. Turning the wrong into a right. right. My book is more about my life, but some of the youth, of the things that I have experienced with you will be in there. What I've written here. Is what is more based on the youth. Right. This is a message that I want to get out. It's a message I will sell. It's a message I would drop off. It's a message I would give out. Right. Because somebody will look at this and will be empowered. I know everybody may not be empowered, but it, it, it will transfer over to the right child mm -hmm. or the right father. Yeah. I do a lot of um, things with youth myself. Like, um, I'm about to put on another talent show. I try to do a talent show around the same time each year. So, this is my time where I try to put on nice. a talent show for the kids. I usually start from age 10 
all the way up. And I, I even will go all the way up to 21 because even at that age, right. so, yeah. I mean, you, you still, you, you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. still right. for the youth, you know. But it's something to give to give these kids um, something to do when they it's a big town down here. It, it's it too is. much. It, it is mad town. Mad right? town. It is. A, it's a lot of town. And like I'm, I'm that humble and I'm that confident that I, 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 if I'm gonna do all of that, I know you're gonna. So what you, so, so you. So he said, no, I'd be shocked. You did. Like, I don't think it's a joke. Like, how you just right. playing, right? So what have, you, have, what have you done to build up to the moment? Have you, have you harped on the situation? Have you hinted at it? Have you joked and played that in like a, a and day? And it was me, a day honestly, night? it was just me because I felt like in time the moment I'm really feeling, I'm feeling this way. Right. I'm in love. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm deeply in love. I'm madly in love. So I think I would be, I would little be, I would be crushed. <laughs> <laughs> so, so oh, okay. So I'm, I'm just saying, like for a man, that that, that rejection would be devastating for us. So just. As, and I know women can be a little bit more sensitive. Yeah. Well, these days, I, I will tell you some of you guys, boy, they got panties. But, yes, um, yes, yes, but, seeing that y'all, the history uh, had y'all more, a little bit more sensitive. I can see y'all probably like, I wouldn't go to, put me like this, if I say no to uh, my lady, say that's hold off for a minute, I would not go to sleep in that same day. I don't think you should. No, I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Well, I mean, well, oh, well, she be hurt. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it, uh, uh, you would have to give me a real good explanation. Right. Like we not find that ready, babe. No, that's not. That's good. not good for a woman because we, if you have a real woman, I mean, it's supposed to thug it out with you. So right. Yeah, that's not. Uh, it, that is, it, what? Shit. I, I mean, that's when you got come clean. <laughs> I got to know your work. Oh well, then that doesn't take what? I don't get the whole. Let me stop because y'all acting like this is for real now. Yeah, you got a whole nother I'm just putting up scenario. The divorce before you yeah. have to see a marriage. He should even ask. It's over. <laughs> yeah. All right, now, of course, um, like I said, I got, I got some. Um, I mean, well, feedback that, uh, you know, from some of the uh, statements that were actually made, comments that was actually made on that post. I mean, really uh, expected. Of course, um, I'm too old school. No, I would never. Uh, that, that would be going against the how I was raised, blah, blah, blah. But as I was stating to y'all as well, I received one with a, a different twist. This lady says she uh, actually proposed to her husband. Her husband returned to Fayetteville. And she said 17 years later, uh, 17 years now, I mean, into their marriage, they, they, it's like day one. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't know, I guess different strokes for different folks. And she's from Milwaukee, y'all, she'll remain. It's nothing to do all day, that's why. It's nothing to do all day. Right, but it's the polls. Yeah, they, that's why right. you're going to get Well, here's what I was telling you. I'm just well, not that. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let my age out, and you can verify this. That's what uh, Cuckoo Cow was from, right? Milwaukee. <laughs> That's so random. Cuckoo cat. Like, I don't That's even know nobody in Milwaukee. Is anybody on my page from Milwaukee? If you are, can you holler at me right now? Cuckoo cat. Shit. He's from Milwaukee, man. Where is this? Yeah, I mean, that's the only way I can, I can, you know, you know somebody in Fairfax from Milwaukee? No. Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know anybody in Milwaukee. Right. But she did this, but she tried to put emphasis on it. Maybe that's why it's a little different for her uh, proposal. Because she like, but I'm from Milwaukee, so. I'm like, well. No, she's right. You're from Milwaukee. There's nothing but the Walmart problem. Right, yeah. So that, hey, maybe we all show the Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah. You'll find love. Uh, hey, I got some. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. Oh, uh, yeah, um, of course, uh, now your book, we, your book hits on with one of the um, topics of discussion uh, that I shared on Facebook, and that's the situation with uh, Kyle McCockney, um, standing for justice for, um, for, for, for black people in, in general, and now getting so much, uh, well, yeah, one thing for certain, two things for sure, his, his, his purpose is, 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 is striking a lot, a lot of emotions and a lot of feelings, of course, uh, from the jerk. Uh, responding back to his movement as well. Um, do you agree or have you taken a stand with not looking at, um, so, well, of course, you know, not too many women uh, sports related anyway. Or are you taking a stand upon um, taking a knee or just not um, supporting the NFL in any sh shape or form? Because I, I mean, right now it's hurting me deeply. Um, no, I'm not looking at I still right support now. the NFL. Okay. You know, when you kneel, that's you're praying to God. And when you well, no, Ray, 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 
Ray took it too Which far. one? Ray Lewis? Ray Lewis. Oh, Ray Lewis. Oh, oh. He took two leads. Like, I mean, we take it a uh, knee. Maybe his leg was hurt. Mm. I don't know. Oh, I, I, I can't feel Ray Lewis mm. on that. No. <laughs> like, that was too much. No. First of all, I, I, I think he used it for a time of exposure to even come down on the field after his hypocritic statements that he's made. He's made some dumbass statements. And, and, and this is the Ray Lewis that basically made Baltimore. I'm not even gonna say. Now they asked him for his statue to come down. Do y'all agree with that? No. No. I don't. I don't believe the statue should come down. I feel like that who, when his statue was placed there, and the gentleman who was there. I think they should paint. I think they should paint his face white. Well, I think. I think that. The <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. They you gonna let that slide? <laughs> they put the statue down. I mean, reverse it. We might have used to paint our faces. But I think it's. I think the people who want it down, or the gentleman that wants it down, he's an opportunity. He wanted it down from the beginning, right. and I feel like now that it's such a uh, uproar about right. it, he's just taking the opportunity. But well, why didn't he take two feet though? You know, it's like you overdoing it, right? No, right. no. Right. Right. Come on, man. Right. Maybe he was lazy. Like, he was lazy to turn or something. Like how, how do you feel about this sex? I, I feel I feel like Do you feel like like I one I just wanna say in the back by Ray I wanna go back to, to Kaepernick. I just okay. wanna say I just think he is so fine. Oh my god. Alright, now back to okay. the realness, because I had to get that off my chest. Right. Um whew, he is fine. But um Ray Statue. Ray Lewis is fine? No, no, no. Right, yeah. no, no, no. Not Ray Lewis. Kaepernick to me is fine. Kaepernick, uh, the ego Kaepernick spilled over to the Ray on Ray. But, yeah, he did. Yeah, I had to take it back. Right. So, I think Ray Lewis uh, sold out. Honestly. I just think he sold out. You know, what's the point of even going on the field? I don't care if you are framed that. We all know what the knee right. being knelt down was for. Right. If you're not for that movement, don't even be a part of the movement. Don't even associate yourself. Is that you absolutely right? You, did you see how they turned their back they, on him when he caught that murder charge? Yes. And, like, we, and we all in Baltimore were supporting him. Support right. And everybody else that was, you know, Ravens had a lot of criminal right. acts going on. Exactly. But we always, one thing about Baltimore, Always supported the Ravens. Right. Always supported them whether they was in court, off the court, whatever. You know, but I think that he sold out because a lot of people got it twisted. They think that the reason for kneeling is because you're dis disrespecting the flag, and that's not what it's about. It's about all these people that's getting murdered that are African American, that are children, women. It's, it's about oh, yeah. race. That's it's not about disrespecting the flag, it's about kneeling because we need to stop trying to act like we don't see what's really going on, what's right. being, what's happening, you know, so, Ray, yeah, you, you sold out on that one, Stats can't, yeah. I mean, no, I can't, I can't, I can't go with you on that, Ray. Now, um, of course, uh, you know, uh, those are where our topic of discussion is, right? And please, y'all can uh, still hit or uh, still comment because I'm still receiving comments on both of those, uh, you know, those topics that uh, was really, really spoke of real heavily uh, on our social media today. Um, before we get uh, finished with Minoka and get into uh, stats and her movement that she has going on. Now, Minoka, uh, what, what's the, what was the like end result that you uh, want to go ahead with your project, Miss Bo? Like, uh, of course, on, on, on shells and being sold as a bestseller. Um, Changing like, lives. Okay. So, so when, 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 when were you estimating the time that we should look out for? And, okay. I would say after the first of the year. Okay. For everyone to look out for my book. Right. That's after great. the first of the year. That's great. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Well, stick around with us. Like, uh, when we return, I uh, will we'll get with Honey Stack, aka Bang Bang. Bang. And here's another yeah. Bang Bang Bang. She, she, she. Behind the stack. This is Rap the Scrap Show here on Radio on Fire.com. Thanks. Bye, Albums. Welcome back. Um, it's the Rap the Scrap Show here on Radio on Fire. And um, it's hot as shit here, so that's a good name for the radio station that we're on right now. Of course, that was Honey Stacks. With, uh, a remix. <laughs> uh, Porn. dot com. You can find it. Uh, but no. Um, that was my remix. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Uh, you. Uh, that's uh, Robbie. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, say the least. Um, so, so, um, of course, Cardi B is out right now. Mm -hmm. Remix. She really is. Um, like you just went in. 
Yeah. You you just definitely went in on it. What type of feedback have you got? I mean, your inbox probably banging off like uh, nudity pics, probably uh, like I mean, shit. Well, let's just say, um, to be honest with you, if you ask me to be real, the feedback right. I got on it was, damn, you've been harder than Cardi B. Right. I mean, that was just feedback right. from people right. who listen to it. Um, and then you get the, mm, girl, you nasty. <laughs> And then you get the guys like, can I get your number? Right, right, right. right. I don't <laughs> so get, that Yeah, you get a lot of um, people in your DMs or whatever and all of that. But it's not my first nasty record. Right. It's just probably hot to call you hot. Right, right. <laughs> so, so, okay, all right. Now, what, what, so what's going on with Honey Stacks, of course? Um, of, of course, uh, like I said, you know, you're dabbing at you, you're acting and the thing. But as far as your music, like, what should we expect uh, mm -hmm. with this new project that you got coming up? Okay, so I actually am in the process of my album cover is actually getting made right now as we speak. I'm going through the proofing and everything. Does that match the song? And, and I think it kind of a little bit. Okay. It's going to be there. Uh -huh. um, and it's just going to be a mixed CD right now of other, um, you know, other artist songs. I just remixed on it while I'm working on my original album. So to have something to give out. You know, as an artist, you got to be able to, you know, get a profit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, it's a business. So. I'm starting off with a mix CD of me doing, um, you know, other remixes, and then um, I'm coming out with my journey. So. Well, I mean, you know, and I, I will say this because um, I don't believe it's appreciated like it should, as far as uh, uh, you know, women MCs mm -hmm. uh, in, in the industry right now. So I think Cardi B was definitely a, a, um, a help because mm -hmm. it was much needed right now. I mean, you just kept on getting, the, uh, of course, the uh, Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. And versus uh, Remy, so because uh, I think y'all should get a, a, a wider, a wider, a wider praise, so to say. Mm -hmm. um, I think well, I so think the women are killing it actually right now. I think right now the women are killing it. Shout out to the BX, so that's where I'm originally from, and that's where Cardi is from. So, and Remy's from BX too, from the Bronx. So, I mean, I think right now, if you ask me personally, I think when Cardi did what she show that women can um, do the trap music as well. Like, you know, she just, she she's doing it like with the, how the guys are doing it. And right. that's why it's being really well received because she's relating to the audience and the, in, in the um, rap that's going on now, mm -hmm. the trap and all that. Right. So she's definitely killing it. Women, we on top right now. We gonna stay on top. Yeah, I, I definitely, uh, I mean, you know how they party say, right now. Oh, I didn't think so. No, I, I mean, definitely, she's, she's, she's definitely up there on that front yeah. top. But my thing is, like, if uh, if the opportunity ever presented itself, do you think Cardi, or would you do the same thing? Do you think Cardi would have been that hot if, if, if not for reality television? I think Cardi would have been hot, and I'm going to tell you why. Because she has a personality that's of its own. She's yeah. original, and there is no Cardi. Right. You know, you can't, you can't, you can be as goofy as you want, but Cardi is really goofy. Yeah. Like so, I think she would have made it whether whether it would have been rapping or acting. She would have definitely been um, something. something. Yeah, yeah she has a great personality. Yeah, she's right. um, very talented. And, and you think about it, she ain't had well. Did she fight? She did fight a couple. Yeah, she's a little hostile. You know, Puerto Ricans. Yeah. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know yeah. little pepper yeah. there. Little well, fight. she goes. Yeah, she from the Bronx too. So she ain't whip out the uh, blade out of her mouth. But what I like about her, she yeah, is, she's, she's real. She she pops off. There's nothing phony about her. Nothing at all. What you see is what you get. Right. So I mean, alright, so so how would you how how would you how would you uh rate uh the female rappers right now? Oh, right now Cardi's hot, she's number one because she's hot, she's killing it. Um I'm always gonna be a Remy fan. I think yes. Remy can spit. I think lyrically she's the best as far as I'm concerned, as far as spitting right now. Um um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not being funny, but I'm, I've never really been a Nicki Minaj fan, so I'm not going to get on here and be fake, you know. I, I think she has some hot records, and I think she has a beautiful body, and, and she's pretty and all that good stuff. But I, I, I wasn't put her in it. Um, um, so I take it that you probably didn't use it. I would put honey, I would put honey there. I just, I'm, just, I'm in the hook right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because lyrically, you can't, I mean, I write all my music, so I mean, that takes a lot of talent. You know what we need to talk to them about? Put the soundtrack together for the play. Oh, okay. For real, that yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, I think it's needed yeah. um, because we can't do the, the Prince music the whole. No. You know, you know, uh, no. Like, no. yeah, I mean, I just didn't feel my my super gangster. Yeah. Like I can't shoot nobody listening to Diamond and Pearl. I just can't do it. No. So we gotta have to talk to the yeah, sound. Yeah, people, we might get. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. I think we should. 
<laughs> you remember they kept playing yeah. Prince. Yeah. I mean, God, I mean, rest in peace, my brother. He's one of the greatest yeah. ever doing. But no, he just ain't full of wide. You know what I mean? We can talk about it. So, all right, with the new project, um, what should we expect? So, you We definitely know Seth. So, there goes Yeah, yeah, he definitely, um, definitely, because I mean, that's, that's my, I mean, I can't help it, right? right what I'm thinking. I'm, 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 I'm Think about that stuff. When you, you know, first heard it, I like real stuff. That song came straight to you. Well, maybe when, wait a minute, when I first heard, when I first heard the beat, I thought when she was like, she don't dance now, that she make she make it, right. you know, to dance. I think to myself, but I want to dance. Right. <laughs> so for me, I just, make money. I like I make my body move right. this music right here. So right. you know, it's just funny how people can just, just take a, a beat and right. how they would, you right. know, flip it. So I'm um, definitely going here. Um, he, um, right, um, I, I do a lot of hip hop too. So I'm all around. Like I can spit regular hip hop. I can do trap. You know. Um, I'm, so you're gonna hear a lot different. But it seems, it seems like right now it's more of a trap uh, generation. Yeah, like I'm just right getting into it because right. I I wanted to see what I would do with it. And what what it was like for me. No. Okay. Um, I want to see if I could actually do it for real. Because right. I've right. always been. I, into hip hop, the beat on the table, you know, spit like that. So I was kind of impressed. Okay. So, <laughs> so, um, so uh, all right, for your fans and the, and the fans to come behind that, um, of course, like I said, we, uh, you, you head down, uh, you, you, you dip your toe or get your feet wet mm -hmm. uh, with the act and that. Mm -hmm. well, but what should your fans expect out of this uh, this uh, uh, mixtape? It's a mixtape. Mix you should expect to. Um, Hear me, do my, like, really kill it. Like, you're gonna be able to play it throughout in your car and be bumping to it, like, oh, God, you know what I mean? She's okay, you know, damn, she's, you know, she's fine, you know? And just be waiting, just be waiting for me to finish my product. But, you, know, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's gonna make you really wanna hear me. If you, if I can take somebody else's beat, and and, and and damn it be up to them level with it. I mean, you it's know, I can, you know, I got some talent. Right, like, right, right, it's, right. It's, you know, that's to be expected. So you will definitely do that thing. But my future long term goal is for everybody to you know is I, I want to be an actress. I, I went to the school of the arts. You know, bang bang. Yeah. So that's what I that's what I do. That's where it all started. You know, right. really started. That's what I'm trying to do okay. in the long term. So I'm just doing the music right now, and then eventually I'll probably move to Los Angeles. Right, so, right, right. 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 New York. And um, Minoka, uh, like I said, uh, of course, uh, which can you give your, your following, your future following, and everything? What can they expect from Minoka? Well, I'm gonna get honey sticks to go ahead and I'm um, gonna have a brand. Honey sacks. Honey sacks. Yeah, honey sacks. Yeah, I'm gonna get honey sacks to wrap uh, my. Uh, <laughs> And honey stacks, please follow their movement, support them. It's well deserved, well needed. Uh, this is Rap and Scrap Show. Uh, thanks. Shout out to social media. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, shout out to all my followers. Uh, Rap and Scrap, uh, Adam and Scrap. Uh, that's everything Scrap. And oh, yeah. And get that apple in my eye magazine. It's hot. What is that? Uh, you can go to, uh, you can purchase it now online at uh, www.scrapbookent.com. Yeah. Oh, big shots to all of my uh, apple in my eye angels too. Scrapbook? Yeah, scrap. It's Scrap's book. Okay. It's a rap and scrap show. We'll see y'all too next time. We out of here. It's a rap. <laughs>